heavy snow this winter and uh, relatively quick snow melt has been leading to some high water in this area. So we're going to take a stream flow measurement today. Basically what we do is when we get to a site, we check the stage and that's what this device is for. We also have uh, equipment over there that's a logger. So we compare our measured stage to the logging stage and because that logger records the stage every 15 minutes. So we want that to be uh, as close to as close to our measured stage as possible. So this device is basically, it's a fancy way of putting a, a weight on a string and we're measuring the height of the water in feet. Typically this river, you know, base flows are anywhere from, oh, I don't know, seven to eight feet, you know, in the middle of a dry summer. Oh, I'm, I'm lowering the weight just so the top of, the bottom of the weight touches the top of the water. And once it does, I look at our dial and I take a reading. The stage right now is 17.35. So this is a stream gauging station. What it does is it basically uh, it monitors the level of the river and it takes a reading every 15 minutes. So uh, we're going to check it with our measured stage and make sure it's recording correctly. So we measured a stage of 17.35. This thing says 17.34. Next, we take the flow measurement. With a high flow situation like this, we have a, a boat that we basically drag across the stream and uh, through a series of, of uh, computer programs and calculations and whatnot, it can tell us the, the discharge going down the stream, the cubic feet of water per second. Okay, go ahead. You can see this channel is pretty flat on the bottom. The black line is considered the bottom of the channel, and all these different colors represent different velocities of water. So the, it looks like the lighter the color, the faster the velocity. So as he goes into the middle of the channel, it's getting lighter and lighter, which is where the, typically the fastest velocities are. Today with this high flow situation, we'll be, we call it into uh, to St. Paul, and then they report it to the National Weather Service. And I believe they use some of this data in their, their flood models. You know, they predict flood crests and uh, when it's going to crest and how high it's going to crest. We generally take four to eight readings just so we get a consistent number. And then um, we'll get our magic number, the, the calculated discharge, and then uh, we'll go take another stage reading just to make sure it hasn't changed too much. And uh, that's, that's it.